That wasn't the request. Can I get a cab ASAP? I'm sending one out right now. Much obliged. Strawberry. I'll get you. Okay, buddy. There you go. You just keep your distance. Yo, 
a stupid motherfucker. Following a high speed chase through the symptoms that didn't just not end fucking the hospital. see me! It went through the hospital and out the other side. The actor is still missing, and the incident has the whole of Vinewood on edge. Justice News. Pedophiles are everywhere thanks to liberals, but a new program has law enforcement teaming up with a reality TV show to catch creeps. One FIB agent we met spends all day. was the pizza. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Take back the Statue of Happiness. It's ugly. Got a face like a sour fish. She's just in a bad mood, isn't she? Ah! Speaking of French people, John, I want to talk to you about what you will do about promiscuity in this country. You know, on this show, we preach abstinence. If you don't want a bun in the oven, honey, stick it in the smoker. Uh, I'm a big fan of sticking it in the smoker. Barbecue, uh, tailgate parties, hell, I'd smoke anything. I teach my kids abstinence as well. My 16-year-old daughter will have her friends over to the pool, and I'll swim with them and play keep away, splashing around, you know, having fun, and I use that time to witness to them. I say, girls, this is a fantastic time in your life. You know, you're all so beautiful and burgeoning into womanhood. A couple of you have developed fine breasts, as I see, and several about to fall out of your swimming costume. But don't do anything stupid that could ruin your life. Boys, they are trouble. Save yourself for your husband. You know, Bobby June, the important thing is that people learn about the decisions they are making in their own lives. And one decision we all gotta make is to stop letting immigrants ruin our economy. I mean, it just ain't right. You cannot get a job right now because foreigners have them. Well, America did not become the greatest country ever by letting foreigners in, and that's a fact. Listen, listen, Bobby June. Listen, all of you. I am not a racist. I said some things, yeah, I did. That was a very long time ago. But there is a difference. If we want this country to be great again, we've got to start fighting wars we can win and stop fighting against crazy folk who ain't going to give up, which is why I want us to think about invading Europe again. Seriously. How do you mean? Now, I ain't never been one for book learning, but uh, I'm a big fan of history documentaries. And historical television shows us that America is at its finest when we invade Europe. You know something? You're right! Exactly. I mean, we've spent 50 years invading Asia and the Middle East.
seen a lot of movies, and, and how often, how often is the world threatened by a creepy British guy? It's never an American. Not never. So I'm saying, if we're serious about fighting terror, and I know we are, we go straight to the source and invade Great Britain. Finish off what old George started back in 1770, whenever it was. USA! 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 That's how we're gonna win this war, Bobby June. That's how we can avenge them, America. Bless your heart. Hell, I'll vote for you. You got my vote. Bobby June, let's talk about this election. It's really up to everybody to get out there and make a difference. You gotta do everything in your power to make sure we win. This is not a socialist country. It's not. This is America. We're nationalists. National socialists, if you will. Because our society is our nation. But trust me, this is the most important moment in American history. If we get this wrong, well, we're shit out of luck. Pardon my French. How so? Who's that? My producer, Ricky, speaking out of turn again. Don't worry, she's just got a tan. Oh, okay. Had me worried for a moment there. I'll tell you what, because this is it. They are trying to steal our country away. Lawton and all his cronies, all of them cronies in the capital. I'm against cronyism, which is why I'm supported by only big American companies who care about things that matter and don't want business bogged down by regulations. Like pension obligations, gone. Environmental concerns, great if we can afford them, but we can't be gone. Affirmative action? Uh, what do you think? Hey, hey, coffee over there, what do you think? It's Ricky. Uh, whatever, whatever. What do you think about affirmative action? Hey, you ain't a Lebanon, is you? I mean, uh, ain't nothing wrong with it. Some of my best friends was Lebanons, but it's unnatural and a sin. So affirmative action is gone. Having to hire foreigners is gone. Making schools accept minorities is gone. Subsidizing education is gone. Heck, education will be gone. That's why you gotta vote. It's real change. Change we want. Change back. Because I'm all about families. And families need children at home. I've had three strokes and I am fine. Because I don't worry. It's the worry that'll kill you. Come on. Come on, girl. Now. Come. Mm -mm. Uh-huh. See? That ain't so bad, is it? Thanks for coming on the show, Jock. And we'll all vote for you in the election. Bless your heart, Bobby June. Bless your heart, Jock Cranley. Oh, you don't. Okay, 
Our next guest is super exciting because she's a superstar. You've no doubt heard her songs. She's here to talk to us about adopting children from foreign countries and to sing her new song. Please welcome pop legend turned country western crooner, Samantha Moulton. Come get this kid. That is beyond annoying. June, you like my new accent? Bless your heart, Samantha. I was wondering what that was. Well, my goodness, you look incredible in that dress. It's some kind of designer dress. Yes, it is. Thank you. Now, you've been on a mission, a crusade, really, to help children. It's incredible how many kids you've adopted from Africa. You are such a beautiful person. Well, these children are born in places that are so poverty-stricken, it's sad. We bring them to America so they can have a chance at a better life. Do any of them steal? What do you mean? You know, just wondering, that's all. You can take the gator out of the swamp, but don't be surprised if it bites you through the coffee table, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Silly girl, it's dead. <laughs> Old Pete killed it this morning. Had it flown in special. Now, you've had a tough few months, didn't you? Overdosed or something? Well, that was an accidental overdose. I accidentally drank an entire bottle of vodka and then ate a fistful of pills while sobbing. It was a total accident. It has nothing to do with my career meltdown or my recent breakup or how I've changed my accent. And the paparazzi just keep hounding me. Oh, they are something, aren't they? Just wanting to ruin everyone's lives. They put a video of me online saying I was talking hateful. I was talking about gophers and rabbits and things that dig holes in my garden. I hate them varmints. I hate them. That liberal media had a field day. Well, I don't believe the liberal media. The ones that win awards for journalistic investigating. Trash, I call it. I never read the tablets. Now, Samantha, I must see you on every magazine cover in the...
just hope that broke your goddamn neck!